Welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton down here at Lidham Golf Academy. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of the correct length of driver. Okay, so th again, through custom fitting here, driver shaft length is a crucial element through the fitting process to help us gain that correct stride pattern. Okay, now also these manufacturers nowadays are making these shaft lengths in terms of the drivers as long as, really as possibly as they can because obviously that creates more club head speed. But a lot of golfers, you know, struggle to maybe control that full length of golf club. So that's where the strike pattern can then move a lot around the golf club face. And obviously then we drop off a lot of ball speed. So for the one or two mile an hour club head speed gain because of the length of the shaft, we can drop massively uh, on ball speed purely because we're missing the middle of the golf club. So as many of us know, you know, strike is a big part of this, which helps us to get some good spin numbers, obviously the maximum ball speed in relation to your club head speed, uh, and obviously get that ball down there as far as you can and also keep control of it. So through many fittings, and I've had some really good results through fittings here, of maybe fitting certain golfers into slightly shorter driver shaft. Okay, whether it's half an inch, an inch, sometimes an inch and a half, which you're nearly sort of getting towards a three wood length. Okay, but the transformation of ball striking has been huge. Okay, and they're actually hitting that ball further with that length of shaft than they are with a standard length of, of shaft. Okay, so in this video here, what we're going to do, I've got a, um, a driver shaft here, standard length. I'm going to use an, a TaylorMade M1 driver here. So standard length driver shaft, which is 45 and a half inches in length. Okay, and then I've got a shaft here that's um, the same type of shaft, but it's a shorter length. Okay, and this is measuring at uh, 44 inches, so it's an inch and a half shorter. Okay, and I'm going to hit a few shots with each one. I'm going to have a look at strikes here through GC2 HMT. We're going to track strike and see if the strike pattern gets a little bit tighter. Now, my strike pattern generally isn't too bad, okay, but as I say, some golfers will see move that strike pattern around that club face. But even, you know, for myself here, I could see an improvement of ball strike here, but maybe look at ball speed as well in relation and uh, maybe see if there's a difference between the different lengths of shafts. Okay, so we're going to start with the 45 and a half inch shaft length here, which is a standard uh, driver length um, in obviously tailor-made, which is pretty much the same uh, standard as most of the brands um, generally nowadays. So we'll give this, uh, this first one here. We're going to probably just hit a batch of shots here. I won't show you ball flight. We don't really need to look at ball flight. But obviously what I am going to show you is strike pattern. Okay, so we're going to hit a batch of shots. And then we'll uh, move into that slightly shorter shaft at 44 inch. Okay, so there's a batch of shots hit with the standard length shaft. Okay, so so there's a batch of shots hit with the standard length 45 and a half inch. Okay, so we'll switch shafts over, we'll put the 44 inch shaft into this head, we'll hit a batch of shots, then we'll go and have a look at some strike pattern differences. Right, so now I've got the 44 inch shaft in here. Uh, so it's the same type of shaft as the Cura Cage in a stiff. Uh, still got the M1 head, nine and a half degree, obviously just an inch and a half shorter than standard here. Now straight away, as I put that in my hand, to me that feels like it's really short. Um, and obviously I'm six foot five, so anything that goes shorter massively stands out to me. Um, so this probably isn't something that I'd probably do myself, but um, obviously not everybody's six foot five, so again, the shorter option can be a, a good option for many golfers. But yeah, to me it feels really, really short here. But anyway, we're going to hit five shots with this. Again, we'll look at some strike patterns um, after we've hit these.
Right, so there's five shots hit with the 44 inch shaft. It does feel really short on my hands. But I'll tell you what, I had those on a pretty much on a string there. Um, and strikes felt very much in the same place. I'm going to be really interested to see these strike patterns here. Um, the ball fight was great, to be honest. It, it feels like I could really find a fair way of that. And obviously that's one of the big reasons why maybe guys sometimes also go into shorter shafts. A little bit more accuracy, a little bit more consistency. Um, and getting to control of that golf ball. Many golfers I hear will say, really struggle with my driver, three wood. I'm pretty good, I can hit it sometimes as far as a driver, but a lot straight, a lot more consistent. And that's purely because of obviously the length shaft, um, but also a little bit of loft there is, is, is obviously helping a little bit as well. But anyway, let's go and have a look at some strikes. I'm really interested to look at this. Right, okay guys, so first one I'm gonna look at was the standard length, which was 44 and a half inches of length. So I've hit five shots there, there's a sort of five strike patterns. There's one just sat right underneath that, uh, that other white one there, so there is actually five strikes on there. The red one being the last one I um, I hit. So not a bad strike pattern there. As I say, you know, I play standard length on my driver and I don't feel like my strikes um, are massively bad. But having said that, I do tend to get a lot of these low in the face. So you see this red line running through. That's like the, the sort of equator line of the of the golf club, or middle of the golf club there. And you can see if I miss below that, that's where my spin number will just creep up a little bit more. Okay, and we've sort of seen that a little bit. If I just flick on to uh, table view here, so there's a 44 and a half inch there. So look at my spin number on average, 3, 1. It's a bit high. Okay, you can see once when I get low in the face, I spin it up into the 3,000s. And when I get them a little bit better on the strike, the more sort of in the 2000s. So that's, again, that's purely because of strike. But that's quite typical of what I find is my strikes can get a tiny little bit uh, sort of low in the face. Then we move on to the 44-inch shaft. Now, the strike pattern has, has, has come so much more consistent. You can see all five strikes were dotted around in that same area. Now, you can probably see they're a little bit more off the toe. Okay, and this is a typical thing that would sort of say that the, the shaft is actually a little bit too short. So if the shaft's a bit too short, your strikes would generally move more towards the toe section. If the shaft's too long for a golfer, the strikes would maybe go a little bit more sort of low heel or towards the heel section of the golf club. So obviously, again, I'm six foot five, 44 inch is quite short. I felt that massively short. But look at the consistency of the strikes. They're literally on, one to on top of each other. Okay, and it'd be really interesting now to see your spin numbers. So if we look at, there we go, there's a 44 inch. There's a five shots. Look at my spin numbers here. So 2,200. Okay, the last one was 1,400. But there's nothing anywhere near the 3,000 mark there. And that's purely because I've struck it slightly higher in the club face. And a little bit more. Uh, so there you go. So see how they're all above that red line but they're also slightly toe side which will also pull a little bit of spin off okay so that's a great place to strike it for me anyway because i do tend to struggle with my spin number so if i can get it in that sort of high toe sort of center middle of the golf club then i know i'm going to hit those uh, those real sort of bombers in there so just from that let's have a little quick or little look at the sort of distance here so i'm going to look at club head speed first so 45 and a half inch, you can see, is 110 mile an hour average. Okay, and the 44 inch is 109. Let's just missed that last shot for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but it probably would have been somewhat similar. So 109 there. So I've only dropped one mile an hour club head speed, yet I've dropped one and a half inch of length, which is quite a lot. So when we look at ball data here in terms of ball speed, so 45 and a half is, see what is 156 ball speed average, 155. So I've only dropped one mile an hour of ball speed. But because my, well, launch is pretty much the same, because my spin is so different, okay, look at the difference of distance in carry. Okay, so 259 against 252. So I've gained seven mile an hour of distance with the shorter shaft, purely because my strike pattern was more consistent. Right, so there's a really interesting um, sort of test there, really, in terms of shaft length. And definitely something I see on a on a day-to-day -day basis here at the Academy when we're through our custom fit process. You know, we, we tinker around with shaft length. Now, we know loft is very important. I've just done a video, or I'm about to do one, released, um, you know, differences of loft and how that affects launch and spin of a golf ball. So we know loft is really, really important. We know shaft is really important in terms of getting the right flex, the right type of shaft weight. Um, to try and again tiny spin but strike is a big one as you can see there strike has moved my spin around exactly the same profile of shaft there cura cage 
Um, in stiff, it's exactly the same. All that's changed was the length. The head's changed, it's exactly the same. Not changed the weights on the head. The loft was the same, the M1, nine and a half. But the spins changed, you know, a good 800 revs there. And that's purely through strike there. It's really, really interesting. So you can appreciate here now that the shaft length is key to getting a good strike pattern, which is then going to help you get some really good consistent numbers. And then from there, you know, this fine tuning of these adjustable heads with weights moving in and out, you can start to really fine tune, you know, shot shape, shot direction, whether you're protecting a certain bad shot you've got in there or if you're trying to trying to encourage a desirable shot that you want to sort of play, we can start to do that a little bit more accurately. Okay, really interesting test there. Um, you know, let me know your views here. How many of you guys out there have actually got a shaft uh, in your drive that's shorter, you've been fitted, it's actually shorter than standard? And, and let me know how you're getting on with that. And, and maybe this is something for you to go out and test as well. It's really interesting that. I mean, to me, that felt, didn't feel comfortable in my hands because it just felt so short. I'm just not used to that. It felt like a three wood in my hand. Um, but the ball flight was just like on a bit of string. I, I could be could be tempted to order one up here, to be honest. Um, and the, the drop off of speed is minimal, yet I've gained distance. It's really just purely because of that strike. Okay. So, yeah, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on that. You know, follow my social media platforms. Links are all in the description down below. I'm offering online lessons now, which more and more you guys are talk, taking up. Again, descriptions all, um, or links are all in the description down below. So, go and have a look at that if you're interested in improving your game with myself. Um, do hit that subscribe button, which will be somewhere up there. And hopefully, we'll catch up with you all very soon.